Selamat malam Bapak Ibu uh, yang terhormat. Uh, thank you sudah meluangkan waktu untuk join di acara webinar Startup Visa untuk Kanada ya. Perkenalkan nama saya Henry, saya dari Galaxy Property. Uh, malam ini saya akan jadi host untuk uh, komodit uh, pertanyaan, mungkin saudara punya pertanyaan dan ingin penjelasan lebih detail gitu ya tentang Startup Visa Kanada. Nah ini uh, program ini cukup menarik karena ternyata di Surabaya uh, banyak sekali klien atau investor yang memang uh, punya niatan untuk uh, terutama banyak ingin menyekolahkan anaknya ke Kanada, kemudian jangan banyak sekali uh, keinginan, pertanyaan, gimana sih kita bisa jadi permanent residence atau residency di, di, di Kanada gitu ya. Dan uh, kemudian uh, kami ketemu partners yang cukup tepat gitu ya, uh, which is APS Global Partners, mereka uh, ada di Kanada dan banyak sekali membantu para investor maupun uh, <tuh> warga asing yang ingin Uh, tinggal di tinggal belajar uh, bekerja di Kanada. Nah saya hari ini nggak sendirian, kami uh, ditemani oleh beberapa pembicara yang hari ini akan memberikan penjelasan detail kepada anda. So I would like to uh, say <coughs> welcome to first of all uh, Miss Georgina Mika, uh, Bu Georgina dari Internegri Migration. Jadi memang beliau spesialis di bidang migrasi. Uh, nanti beliau akan cerita dikit. tentang internegri. Um, kemudian juga uh, ada our experts di sini ada Honorable Mr. Gary Winner. Uh, dia adalah former Minister of Immigration Citizenship, Secretary of State of Canada, gitu ya. Uh, dia juga adalah Executive Director Global Relation Partnership and Customer Satisfaction di APS Global Partners Incorporated. And then uh, juga ada Mr. Michael Shipman. Dia adalah Presiden dan Founder dari APS Global Partners. Um, jadi terus kemudian dia juga adalah seorang entrepreneur, uh, investor uh, yang berkecimpung dalam bidang pre-IPO, merger and acquisition. Kemudian dia juga adalah startup mentor. And then kemudian juga uh, speaker kita hari ini ada Miss Anastasia Netronev, um, selaku marketing manager dari APS Global Partners. Kemudian juga ada uh, Gleb Vanyokevich sebagai project manager. dari APS Global Partners. Kemudian juga ada Marina Chef. Jadi mem- beliau ini adalah member good standing of the Immigration Consultants of Canada Regulatory Council. Um, nah, ini uh, speaker-speaker kita hari ini akan memberikan penjelasan apa itu Startup Visa Kanada. Oke, okay. uh, saya rasa dari saya cukup. Uh, saya persilakan Bu Georgina Mika untuk kasih sedikit introduction. Silakan Bu Um, oke, okay. uh, oke, okay. thank you, thank you. Hai, nama saya Georgina. Uh, saya base-nya di Jakarta ya, Bapak Ibu. Saya base-nya di Jakarta. Saya founder Internet Green Migration. Saya tidak hanya Kanada ya sebetulnya, tapi pokoknya kalau menyangkut uh, apa namanya imigrasi, uh, hopefully saya bisa jawab dan saya punya partner Pak. yang yang beda-beda ya untuk uh, program yang berbeda. Uh, ini bisa dilihat bio saya adanya di desti.page/internetgri. Jadi saya jadiin satu semua uh, my uh, apa namanya Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, semuanya jadi satu. Tinggal diklik nanti bisa uh, cek di situ ya Instagram saya atau link, uh, Facebook dan sebagainya. Oke okay, next. Oke, okay. saya member dari Investment Migration Council. Itu adalah organisasi profesi yang um, yang membawahi orang-orang yang bergerak di Investment Migration. Next. Nah, ini beberapa negara yang saya fokus untuk uh, pasarin ya. Yaitu saya juga selain dari Kanada, Dan ada tuh banyak sebetulnya programnya nggak ya secara visa ada uh, skilled migration ada yang untuk business terus ada juga ini Atlantic Immigration Program tapi ini harus ada employernya ini kalau ini harus ada sponsor employer. Selain itu saya juga masarin uh, IFSA Dubai IFSA itu uh, free zone ya uh, wilayah free zone uh, terus kemudian Cyprus Greece Portugal Spain 
dan juga US. US itu ada dua, EB3 itu untuk workers yang non-investment dan EB5 yang untuk investment. Terus satu lagi Australia, tapi saya Australia lebih fokus ke investment. Uh, next. Oke. Okay. Uh, penjelasan dari aku cukup sekian. Uh, so, uh, Anastasia, let's, uh, let's start. Excellent. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you, Henry, so much. Uh, welcome all uh, to our webinar today. Uh, we are here uh, to discuss the start of visa opportunity and uh, I want you to pay attention to our experts, uh, the Honorable Mr. Jerry Wiener, former Minister of Immigration, Citizenship and Secretary of the State of Canada, who is Executive Director of IPS Global Partners, and Michael Schreiman, the President and the Founder of IPS Global Partners, who is also Entrepreneur, Investment and a startup mentor. Uh, we will be hearing uh, shortly their uh, greeting to you. Uh, so uh, I would like a minute or two from your attention. Uh, Anastasia, the voice, please. The voice is muted. Um, the voice is muted. One second. My personal greeting. I am the former Minister of Immigration, Citizenship and Secretary of State of Canada in two successive governments. Among my more important achievements in government was being responsible for the creation of the Immigrant Investor Program, one of the first in the world of its type that gave residency opportunity to many families over a 20 year period. A pharmacist by profession, having spent the better part of half a century in the delivery of healthcare, my career continues as the Executive Director, Global Relations, Partnerships, and Customer Satisfaction for APS Global Partners, marketing the Canada Startup Visa Program. My travels and the database I've acquired and maintained through many, of my, through my many years in government and the private sector have taken me around the world, Africa, China, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East, an experience in understanding where you are and in helping you achieve your dreams. Why Canada, a country that has been strengthened and enriched by its diversity, that believes in building harmony without homogeneity, a country that guarantees to its charter and other laws, like the Canadian Multicultural Grant, that I had the privilege of presenting and having passed unanimously in Parliament, which is still the law of the land today. A country whose laws guarantee equality of opportunity and the right to full and equal participation to all. Canada offers a superb quality of life in peace and security, an impressive education system that is rated the best public education in the world by the OECD, a very important strategic location for doing business, free trade with Mexico and the United States, uh, trade agreements with the European Union, the Francophonie and the Pacific Rim countries too, a work environment of almost 500 million people offering opportunity to your families especially their young, their young students. Universal access here, healthcare for all. One of the foremost banking systems in the world, according to the World Economic Forum. Why APS and the EPS started a visa? Michael Schreiben, our president, has built this company one person at a time, providing experience, reliability, and unparalleled record of achievement with both Canadian governments and private sector experience, the A team. Michael has had a lengthy, successful career in startups, especially in Israel, the startup nation, and the Soviet Union over the last 25 years. The startup visa was created for business people like you. No specific investment or asset requirement. Have a qualifying business, CLB5 in your language test, bring enough money to settle, and you get a letter of support from the designated organization. Sounds simple? 
And the government website says you might wish to try it on your own and will probably fail. It's that difficult. That's why us. How may we help you? Always available for your call, email, WhatsApp, or WeChat. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, please visit our website for lots of information and do keep in touch on social media. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of ABS Global Partners, I would like to welcome you all. I'm Michael Schreiber, an entrepreneur, investor, and founder of ABS Global Partners. Since 2017, we've been opening the doors to Canada for entrepreneurs in all industries, from food and beverage, transportation, oil and gas, IT, high tech, to healthcare and retail, you name it. ABS Global Partners is proud to hold 35% of startup visa application market in Canada with 100% success. We've been working with over 500 immigration professionals around the world and look forward to expanding our network. You may ask me what our secret for success is. Well, the answer to this is our highly qualified team of experts, connections, and round the clock process. Our team of business advisors and former government officials qualify the candidates, perfect their business idea, and connect them with their right venture capitalists, business incubators, angel investors, all these in the organization here in Canada to make sure that our of thousands of other applications, specifically our candidates, are selected for that visa program. During the pandemic, process in time have unfortunately slowed down. Therefore, getting professional, hands-on support is even more critical now than ever for your success. As saying goes, good advice is better than gold. With our shared commitment and efforts, I'm confident that we will achieve solid, substantive, and enduring process. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now we will discuss uh, the start of visa criteria process, and uh, we also will show you some of our success stories. So Startup Visa program is a program for innovative entrepreneurs from around the globe who would like to come to Canada, establish business here uh, while obtaining PR for them and their families. Startup Visa launched in uh, 2013 as a pilot program. In uh, 2017, our uh, company started as advisory services for the Startup Visa and uh, we are uh, considering ourselves as the pioneers uh, of the program. In March uh, 2018, this program became permanent pro uh, program due to the success uh, and of course uh, our help um, to the entrepreneurs uh, for, for the program and for the successful process. Uh, Startup Visa uh, program has three main criteria uh, for designated organization. To have innovative business idea that will create jobs for Canadians and will uh, be able to compete on a global scale, meaning that the service or the product is supposed to be exportable outside of Canada. Uh, what you need for the start of visa. You need to meet CLB 5 or higher English proficiency test to have a letter of support from designated organization for your business venture. We actually will help you to get that. And we have an excellent refund policy in our retainer agreement. You need to showcase your settlement funds to both the uh, designated organization and the Canadian government. We will discuss it a little bit later. Uh, the excellent thing about the Startup Visa program is that there is no age restriction. There is no set investment. Uh, you do not need 
uh, specific education or management experience and uh, no success of business guarantees are needed, uh, meaning that you have a lot of benefits uh, if you compare it to an, another immigration program especially business program. Uh, you need to showcase settlement funds as the government of Canada states uh, it depends on your uh, on quantity of your family members. You can find those numbers online on the Canadian government website. Uh, the applicant must have qualifying business. Uh, in each business, uh, we can apply with up to co five co-founders. Usually we go with three or four co-founders. Uh, those co-founders uh, will have more uh, than 50% of total voting rights together with designated organization. Uh, this, uh, this requirement is important in order to illuminate passive investors. Uh, we are looking for entrepreneurs who would like to run a business in Canada. And when I say run, I mean uh, to provide ongoing management. Uh, the business also will be incorporated in Canada and we will help you with that. There are three types of designated organizations who can support your venture. There are business incubators who will teach you how to do business in Canada. Uh, business incubators tuition fee already included in our fees, so you do not, do not need to pay anything extra. Uh, there are also angel investment groups. Angel investment groups are looking for a bit mature businesses. They will invest minimum of 75,000 Canadian dollars. They will ask, also ask for uh, uh, to put some funds on escrow account as a goodwill. And uh, they will be doing due diligence on their part uh, on the venture. Uh, also, the third type of uh, designated organization are venture capital funds. Venture capital funds will invest minimum of 200,000 Canadian dollars and they will not ask you to secure any money on the escrow account. They are looking for businesses that are already making some revenue outside of Canada, mature businesses or uh, businesses which will be with a brilliant, innovative idea. Uh, what you probably don't know about, uh, about the process, about the process and designated organizations they are looking for different kinds of businesses from different types of industries. Each designated organization is looking for different types uh, of businesses and we know exactly to which designated organization to take your business. So we will not take a business from agriculture field to a designated organization who is looking for IT businesses and so on. Uh, also, business plan today is not enough in order to get support from designated organization. And th this is why we provide much more than just a business plan. Uh, our services include business review. Uh, so we basically will look into your venture. We will evaluate it and we will decide uh, what needs to be done or improved in order to, su uh, to have successful application. We pre prepare all the supporting documents for your business. Uh, we will also coach and train you through the process. So you will know how exactly how to communicate with designated organization and of course the co-founders. Uh, you, uh, we will assure your acceptance into designated organization and we will uh, do all the introduction needed with strategic, strategic partners uh, for your venture. Uh, so you may ask us about the timeline. Science providing the required documents to us, we will uh, review it, we will look into your background, we will look into your education of yours, and we will evaluate your chances to go through the successful startup visa. We will have a welcoming meeting with you, and then we will sign a retainer agreement and ask for the deposit. After three to four months, we will provide a letter of support from designated organization based on your venture. Uh, then after a month or so, uh, there will be a submission of PR application by our uh, immigration consultant uh, who is here on a call and would love to answer all your questions related to immigration later on. 
Uh, after that, you might ask for work permit. Only essential applicants for the start of visa can ask for the work permit. However, um, however, uh, this will make your chances to come to Canada much more uh, faster and uh, you would be able to start working on your venture here in Canada before even getting the PR approved. Uh, while you will be working on your venture in Canada, you will be waiting for PR approval. Also, if you will go through business incubators, you will be having uh, the chance to go through the cohort course, which will teach you how to do business in Canada. The processing times right now um, are uh, different than it was before because of the Canadian uh, government and they are making all the efforts to make it faster. So uh, the, uh, the uh, services that we provide are to determine the eligibility of your business, to doing all the market intelligence and market strategy for your business. We're doing concept validation, creating pitch deck, of course, the business plan, the basic uh, solution, uh, and of course, the innovative uh, IP solution, uh, due diligence of the business, financial modeling, MVP, minimum viable product, and corporate structuring with the help of our lawyers. We will mentor you and guide you through the process and we will pitch to the designated organization with, your, uh, with uh, of course, your participation and introduce you to our network so you would be able to run your business successfully here in Canada. Now I would like to introduce you to Gleb Konjukevich, our project manager who would explain you and tell you about some of our success stories. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Anastasia, and welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Gleb, and I'm a project manager at uh, APS Global Partners. And uh, uh, part of my job is to develop and manage uh, innovative startups. All of our startups are custom tailored to each group, and uh, it also depends uh, on, uh, <clears throat> on each group's educational and business background. Uh, developing a startup is a very involved and difficult process. A great deal of time and resources must be uh, committed just to get a project off the ground. Then there is technical expertise, uh, and depending on a project, it could be IT, engineering, agricultural, manufacturing, and so on. The list is very, very long. Uh, each startup is different, so we employ a highly skilled and dedicated uh, team of IT specialists, engineers, uh, and experts in virtually every field of technology and business. Due to the uh, high level of technical business expertise here at APS, every project that we have submitted to the designated organization uh, has received a letter of support. A uh, hundred percent success rate is a uh, testament uh, 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 to our expertise in technical and business fields. Now, at this point, not to take up a lot of your time, I'd like to uh, share a few uh, business success stories with you uh, and show you some of the projects that we have uh, that we have created so far. First, as uh, the picture that you uh, that you see on the screen right now uh, is a pipe uh, pipe ovality scanner. It's a tool that measures the roundness of a given pipe. Uh, up until now, so these tools are used in uh, mostly in construction projects. And up until now, in order to measure how round or out of round a given pipe is you would need to use several different measuring devices and perform measurements in uh, different sections, which uh, takes up a lot of time and resources. Our scanner uh, can be used by one person, measure any pipe uh, and do it in a lot less time and with much, much higher precision. On a large construction project, uh, a tool such as this can save uh, tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, and even more in pipe replacement costs in case you have to uh, uh, replace a pipe because it's out of round. Development, such a tool, requires uh, sound knowledge of uh, construction engineering, 
uh, believe it or not, fluid dynamics and uh, laser technology, just to name a few. Uh, second, next slide, please. Uh, second, there is a project called uh, TriFit. It's a product that lets a customer or a retailer uh, obtain precise foot measurements. Uh, <clears throat> using this measuring device uh, on retail side or an application uh, for a customer at home uh, uh, allows for 3D scanning of your foot. And in order to find the best match for your footwear, uh, uh, all you have to do is uh, just place your foot on a piece of paper and, uh, and scan it. And this includes all types of footwear, casual, sport, uh, formal, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm sure that you know that most of us have shoes that uh, are too big, too small, don't fit very well, too tight. Uh, uh, and this product eliminates the possibility of uh, purchasing the wrong size. Uh, this is obviously very convenient for customers, but on the retail side, it uh, yields enormous savings for uh, retailers as uh, returns and shipping costs are uh, eliminated. Developing TriFit would not be possible without a solid uh, IT team and uh, in-depth understanding of uh, uh, retail trends, whether it's online or a brick and mortar physical location store. Uh, can we go on please, next slide, slide please. Now, uh, last but not least, uh, we've developed uh, an app and uh, it's more of a software to be honest, uh, which is called My Little Explorer. And this app uh, helps any child learn dream, if you will, and explore their environment in a fun and more, uh, more importantly, educational and interactive way. Almost any smart device can be used, and uh, we'll play a short video just to demonstrate how it works. So, as you can see, a child uh, can point their device at almost anything and start understanding, learning, and interact with their surrounding environment. It's more of a learning app than, uh, although it's uh, meant to uh, look like a game, it's a learning so I hope that by now you can see the level of uh, expertise and commitment that uh, APS offers to, uh, to our clients. In the case of My Little Explorer, IT testing alone was uh, one of the major areas of development. I'm proud to say that attention to uh, every detail, among many other things, is what makes us uh, an industry leader. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, we can help you achieve uh, your goals with the Startup Visa program in Canada. So that's as far as the um, uh, business projects, uh, some of the business projects that we have developed uh, so far. Now, what are your next steps? First of all, you will con uh, contact um, um, you, you will contact your uh, immigration consultants. Second step will be to fill out a questionnaire and provide a resume. Uh, we would like to ask you to give us as much detail as possible about your background, education, and uh, uh, current business or employment status. After which you will be interviewed by uh, us, uh, most likely by me and Anastasia. Uh, if everything goes well, you can sign a retainer, you will sign a retainer agreement and uh, uh, pay, the, uh, pay the deposit. After that, we will be begin team training and that's where I come in, that's where my team comes in. Uh, once we have 
uh, once we went through the training, once we have uh, a project uh, for your team, uh, that's when you will uh, receive a letter of support from a designated organization. And that's when uh, uh, your second payment comes in. After that, we will need you to provide additional uh, uh, additional documents for the RCIC. And uh, you will go through an educational program so supported by, by, uh, by an incubator or one of the uh, designated organizations. And after that, uh, uh, it's just waiting. Depending on how long it takes, you will receive a, a work permit if you need to, and uh, if you apply for it, and uh, PR status in Canada, and uh, welcome to Canada after that. Thank you.